Hello everybody, this is those guys in the old shirts, and I'm your host, Nade, and I'm doing a Monster Hunter World 3rd walkthrough. Now, I have the froggy armor, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to fight the great froggy. The armor that I have right now is all the gunner, except for my cap, which is the blade master. Now, gunner is on the right, while blade master is on the left. Gunner has 7 to 20 defense, while blade master has like 14 to 33, because blade master gets more defense, while gunner gets more of a uh, resistance. And... Since I have Gunner on, I'm going to have mostly a resistance to fire. Plus, my stun is doubled, which I think goes with Blade Master as well. So, I'm fighting the Great Froggy. I'm a Gunner, and I use the bow. I guess you can kind of make it different. Usually, people use like the blade, like Longsword, because they look cool, and they just want to hack and slash. But, you know, I like my bow. It's really cool. So, a good strategy that I like to use is I always like to see the monster's attacks. Like, a good thing to do would be to look at all the monster's attack before you just go gun hole on it. As for one, the really one you really need to know about this one is the fact that it's poison bomb thing, and I get hit a couple times with this, and it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Here, you see, my feline was stun, and I wanted to, I'm a bomber. I use bombs, and they're very useful, by the way, and I was about to get one, but I was like, nah, and I didn't feel like capturing it, so I decided to go ahead and use my shock trap and lay down some bombs. So I'm trying to distract it with my bow, get them near me, I'm attacking him. It's like, hey, dude, get over here. And so now I take my bow gun off and then get my large bomb. And then a good idea is to put another small bomb. And so they both explode together, doing more damage. And you don't have to hit it with my bow. Especially if you're a blade master, because bombs can usually kill you. Uh, to get a more powerful bomb, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But I'm defying this guy. And now the best way to fight it is not what use what I'm using, my weapon. I'm using the froggy gunner, but you want to use a uh, ice type weapon. Here's the analysis at the bottom. Um, I would you would only want to do headshots on the thing, and if you have a water weapon, that's good. But if you have an ice weapon, that's great. You want to use that most, does most damage. Dragon and fire weapon don't do pretty much nothing. It's pretty bad. Uh, uh now let me tell you about the froggy gunner. Uh, it does a pretty lot of good attack. It does 120 attack power. It's pretty good. I upped it up. You can increase it with an enhanced stone and bring it up to a uh, 135. It makes it a lot easier and better. And I got poison, of course. Bleh. But it's easy to make. All you gotta do is really kill it a couple times, and you should be good. And the great froggy is thankfully uh, really easy to kill. And the only thing you need to do is get gunpowder. We can just use a nitro shroom and a uh, fire herb and put well nitro berry and a fire herb or a nitro shroom. I'm not entirely sure. And put them together. Now you see that I have a tainted meat. Basically, when you are fighting a monster and it leaves at randomly, that basically means uh, it's hungry. It wants food. And yeah, that's that. Uh, that is a good idea to randomly get your uh, meat out as soon as it starts leaving. But just to make sure, you want to see that it's drooling. And I saw it wasn't drooling. It just left because it took a lot of damage and it wanted to leave. From, it wanted to run. So it isn't drooling. So I'm not pulling out my meat and wasting it. So I'm just throwing my arrows and just hoping for the best and hopefully I don't get poisoned like that. So you gotta notice the movements. See, as soon as you see the neck swole up you just need a dodge uh if you guys want to see more of this videos go i'm uploading to all submissions uh currently right now i'm going to do the bear monster and a great jaggy and we'll put those in different places now you see it's limping that basically means you want to pull up a trap so if you don't want to kill this thing go ahead and pull up a trap when uh it goes to four which yeah that's a good idea but the problem is, usually, it, if someone attacks it, it usually is just going to go away. If you want to make sure that your trap's going to work and perfectly fine, you want to go to 10. Usually people think 9, because that's usually where it goes. But that's not a good idea, because as soon as it goes to 9, it's just going to go straight to 10. So don't waste your trap in 9, use it in 10. Um, the, when you're first starting this, when in multiplayer... You want to just uh, go straight to one and just wait, because it usually always shows up in one. I mean, it's supposed to be in either nine or ten, and when you're on single player mode, just go straight to ten, because it'll do a cutscene. But after you beat it, you might just want to stay in one. And now you, know, you notice that it just attacked it just a little bit, and it just started running. Uh, it's okay. 
Uh, good thing to get here, and I didn't, I don't have to do this because I have a big huge supply of this. Uh, get some killer beetles here. Get in your bug nets and just go gun hole on killer beetles. Plus, you can get royal rhinos here, and that'll give you some points and money. But killer beetles is the most thing, because you're gonna need some of that to make some of this armor. Also, you're gonna need a carpenter bug, which you can go to the island. The carpenter bug is usually everywhere, and to ensure the best way to get these bugs is to get the shell perfume which you have to do some story mode first to get that but it's definitely worth it you'll get carpenter bugs and killer beetles all over the place now i'm attacking this thing more my bow and arrow sorry i'm a little boring because i'm a gunner uh drop my glass of water it's all right it wasn't filled thank goodness and he's running away like a little whiny little crybaby and i'm gonna go meet him up at 9. You think the final match is going to be at 9? But no, he, he just runs. I get a ration, get my stuff up. You want to make sure you're fully supplied and make sure you use supply items first because you won't get them later on. And you don't want to waste your items. I think I use like at least one potion. I don't know or I don't currently remember. This is post commentary. Uh, right now I want to say sorry about the quality. This is the PSP that I'm recording. And I don't use that stupid camera stuff, point the camera at the PSP, I don't do that. I, I think that's horrible, Yet people should not have to go through that. Uh, usually I have sound for my PSP games, but this time I couldn't because my headphone jack is completely broken and I can't use it. And now, as you notice, my little cat put a trap, because it's a good example of what not to do. I don't know what my cat was thinking. My, both my cats are level 20, by the way, I think that's the highest they go. They're very helpful when they're level 20. And if you really like your cats, just level them up a little, and then you can. They're very useful, trust me. Alright, going to 10 where the final showdown is. It should be really simple and really easy. I hope so. Um, another thing I would like to say sorry about the poor quality. This is because, for some odd reason, my capture thing for the PSP was kind of messing up on good codec. So I had to use a kind of a bad codec, which is. Alright, because I can now get it done, and it's been taking me a while because I keep on practicing and seeing how far I can go before it crashes, and it's usually about 10 minutes, which is fine with me. Um, another thing, the sound, yeah, sorry again, uh, quality, sorry, um, that's about it. Uh, so, this battle's about to end soon, it was very fun, uh, hope you like my let's play, my walkthrough. I'm going to try and do every single boss monster, uh, and if you want to see more, um, I'm going to put some uh, submissions on other places. And if you want to see where they are, just go to my channel and go to the my update, which I'm soon about to do. Which I probably should already have done. <laughs> and uh, if you don't want to go to those other places, just wait. And after a week or like a couple days after they're submitted my video, I'm just going to un put take the unlist off. And so it will be on my channel and I'll put a playlist of course and that's about it all right thank you for watching me uh, this is my walkthrough sorry it wasn't completely detailed it was detailed as much as I can go for this boss this boss is pretty easy it's pretty straight through you shouldn't have a problem at all and I uh, hope you guys see you next time and see you in one of my other videos all right thank you I'm about to dance on this grave a little thing I like to do and uh, notice how I get the arms? Yeah, you want to get a lot of those. Just saying. Just saying. It's for the pants. I don't understand that at all. And now I'm going to dance on his grave. Yay! Alright, see you guys later. Thank you for watching again. Subscribe to the Underdog LPs, because they're awesome. And, um, get you later. Uh, see ya.